In this video, I would like to show you how you can do reamping on Linux. And uh, what reamping basically means is that you record your dry guitar signal directly as it comes from the pickups in your electric guitar or any other instrument signal. And then uh, after your recording is finished, you can apply effects to the signal, for example, an amplifier simulation uh, after the fact. Uh, what this enables you to do is uh, that you can tweak the settings of your effects without having to re-record the guitar piece. And um, there's different ways you can do this reamping on Linux. And I will now show you how this works. So uh, basically the first thing we want to do is fire up a digital audio workstation. We will use Ardour for this. And inside Ardour we will just create a new session called Demo 3. And okay. And then we will add a track to our project it will be a mono track and I'll just call this track guitar clean and that's basically where we will record our clean guitar signal to add this track then go into jack we'll just disconnect everything and just uh, connect the screen capture again okay and now I can connect the input where my guitar is connected to the input of the clean guitar channel in Ardour. And I can enable recording in Ardour. And I can also connect the guitar to the screen capture so that you can hear what I'm playing. Then I will just record. So we get some recording here. And then I can disconnect the guitar again from the screen capture. Okay, and now we get the clean guitar signal here. I can just route the clean signal, the output of the clean guitar track to screen capture and also to my monitoring. And I just play it back. Okay, so we get the clean signal there. And then what we want, what we would like to do is we will just open up an effects processing application. We will use GoDSP Guitar for this as in our previous videos. Then we'll open a browser, go to localhost colon 8080, accept the certificate warning, and then we can configure our processing. So I'll just do some overdrive, lots of gain, then the power amplifier simulation. Let's use filter order 4000 and Scandinavian model for this demonstration. And then I will connect the, the clean signal to 
to the input of Go DSP Guitar, I will use both outputs because it's just a monophonic channel and then the output of this. So we will go into input 0, the process signal will arrive at output 0 and I want to record the process signal and I also want to hear it on my monitoring. So let's just hear what that sounds like. Okay, so let's say that is a sound that I like, so I will keep this setting and then I will add another track in my digital audio workstation and say this is the distorted signal. Then I will just disconnect everything and set it up again. So what would I like to do? I want to have the clean signal going into Go DSP guitar. I want to have the output going to the distorted channel and I have to disable recording on the clean, enable recording on the distorted channel. And then I can just let this run. And what this will now do is uh, it will feed the audio from the clean channel through Go DSP Guitar. Go DSP Guitar will process it and it will get recorded to this second track. So that's basically one possibility how you can do reamping on Linux. You basically play one track back in your digital audio workstation and you record the result of that onto another track. And now we're finished. And let's just see. Just disconnect this one. Disconnect these. And now I want to hear what is on the distorted channel on my monitoring. And I also want to show it to you. Okay, so that works. That is one possibility how you can do reamping uh, on Linux. But there's also another way, and I want to show this to you as well. So for this, I can just close our digital audio workstation and close the web browser, terminate, go to USB guitar. And the other possibility that we have is the following. We got uh, inside our our DIR project, we also have the clean guitar signal here in a WAV file. And GoDSP Guitar can do batch processing for it. And to do this, we invoke the DSP executable with a parameter minus channels and then we enter the number of channels that we want to process. So we can basically enter any number here. We can process one channel, two channel, four channel, 16, 20, however we like. Um, as long as we have enough system memory to hold all the audio data in memory. So but in this case we just want to process a single channel so we will say channels 1 
and we hit enter, then the uh, GoDSP guitar will ask us for the sample rate that we want to use. And the sample rate that we enter here will determine the internal time step of the circuit simulation that GoDSP guitar uses to uh, process our audio signal. Because internally, GoDSP guitar uses a circuit simulator that uh, basically numerically approximate uh, or numerically solves differential equations and uh, the the algorithms that are used to solve these differential equations they run on a certain uh, time step and the time step that we want to use uh, for this simulation or the, the the sample rate that we enter here uh, will determine the time step that is used in the for this simulation. The um, files that we supply as input to GoDSP guitar do not have to be um, in the same sample rate. Internally, uh, GoDSP guitar will just perform a sample rate conversion using Langshaw interpolation. This is necessary because, well, we might use multiple channels uh, if we supply a higher number as uh, in the channels parameter. And then we uh, could supply these channels from different wave files. And of course, these wave files could have different sample rates. So that's why uh, GoDSP Guitar will take basically any input and resample it to a, to a sample rate that we can specify here. So in this case, I would just enter 96,000. This is the same sample rate that we used for capture. So there will basically be no resampling taking place and then it says our web interface is ready. And then we can open up a browser, navigate again to localhost 8080, and we will see a similar web interface than we would see if we were running in real-time mode. And now we can just configure our processing here. So we want to have, let's say, a fuzz effect with a lot of gain. And because we are in batch processing now, we do not need to be fast. So we can use four times oversampling, for example. And then we add a power amplifier. You can stick with a filter order of a million because batch processing, we don't really have to save processing time. We will use the same amplifier model. And now, basically, I can show you this by laying this side by side, the web browser and the terminal window. If we now click on the process now button, then our web interface will lock up and we will get asked some questions on the um, on the console window. And the first question GoDSP Guitar will ask us if is if we want to use linear pulse code modulation or floating point numbers for uh, to store our audio samples. And if we use linear pulse code modulation, we can use um, 8 or 16 or 24 or 32 bit depth. And if we use floating point representation, we can use 32 or 64 bit depth. Now, uh, I will just use linear pulse code modulation with 24 bits of depth in uh, for this example and then go dsp guitar will ask us for the path to the wave file we want to use as input and then we just take this we just take the path to this uh, to the clean guitar file and for this we just right click on the file we see properties and then we see the location where this file is stored in and I will just open the text editor paste the file here and then I just append slash and the name of the wave file so that's basically the complete path and then I can use this expression paste it into the terminal and hit 
enter and then go DSP guitar will process the audio uh, signal and then it will ask us where we want the output to be written and in this case okay let's just delete this and then I will just say I want the output to be written to my home directory and and the other channels I just want to skip so I just hit enter and then the uh, console window will lock up again and we could refresh our web browser and now we could uh, continue configuring our uh, signal chains and then basically run uh, another section of audio through this with with different parameters but we will now not do this but instead we will just hit control C on the terminal and terminate our instance of GoDSP guitar and now we see we got uh, we got a processed uh, wave file here and with this processed wave file we can just open it again in Ardor use the same project as before and I can just add another track give it a different name and then we can just import the WAV file here and that's basically what GoDSP guitar in batch processing mode just stored for us then on the connections window let me just get rid of all this again connect the microphone again and now I want this this two output to appear on the video nope the video and also on the monitoring So let's just see what we get here. Yeah, so that's basically how you can do reamping on Linux. And I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time.